And hopefully our audio's doing great. Okay then. We've had a couple people ask, how have you made the transition from architect to architecture photographer? I went to school first uh, for pre-med and realized that blank memorization wasn't my deal and then kind of ran around the Western Pacific for a while for fun. And then a friend of mine went to architecture school and I heard about that and it was really awesome and I liked design and being creative in that way. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna go to architecture school. Went to architecture school, got my master's, and then went right from practicing architecture, or no wait, went right from architecture school, graduating my master's, into owning half of a firm with a friend of mine. Uh, this was back in the early aughts when they were giving money to anyone that had a pulse. We were doing endless master bedroom garage additions to houses. He had his license, I did not, and so there was this odd uh, imbalance and we were friends. Tip number one, never go into business with friends. Bad idea, which now I'm able to be friends with that friend rather than business partner trying to kill each other during the day. And I just didn't personally enjoy the process of working as an architect as far as mostly being at the same desk every day and having to work on a project for as long as you would have to be on a project. I did that for about three years and then finally decided I just can't take this anymore. And it was very hard because I had invested so much into my education and trying to start an architecture business and everything else. It was very emotionally and very difficult to pull myself out of that to then think, what am I gonna do? And at that time, I was just like, I don't care what I'm gonna do, I just can't do this anymore. And so I was thinking, uh, there was a lot of foreclosures happening at this time, so I was gonna buy, fix up, and sell foreclosures. I did that for a little while, but then a friend of mine who was a commercial photographer said, hey, you've got a good in with architects because of your background in architecture, and you already like and enjoy playing around with photography, why don't you combine the two? I thought about that and I was like, Good idea, I'd like to work creatively rather than having to renovate these houses physically myself the whole time. So I started looking into that. I bought, sold, flipped a house and took all that money and put it into buying all the equipment I needed to be an architectural photographer. Camera, tripod, I think two strobes at the time and a laptop with Photoshop to blend images and everything else. Basically, I was on my way at that point. I had a lot of people who helped me along the way. Uh, my friend Chet Williams, who's a commercial photographer, who taught me a lot about lighting, how to light and what equipment to buy. The, the biggest difficulty of the transition was leaving my architectural education behind. At the time, that's what I thought, but I wasn't. Uh, my architectural education and my experiences working as an architect was extremely integral to my success as an architectural photographer. It informed everything that I did and it gave me that ability to talk to architects, uh, to understand their pain of starting an architectural practice. Where do you tell on here how long you've been recording? I took every opportunity I had to photograph architecture. So public architecture that you can shoot from the street, great opportunity. Finding people who are looking to get at least something that's been nicely designed photographed. Uh, working with real estate agents. These are, these are all areas where you can start out as an architectural photographer. They won't have much of a budget. They might not even know what they're looking for. So if you're not very skilled at this point, you'll still be able to get by and be able to offer those people services that are better than them with their iPhone. Uh, so something to think of, a way to transition into being a photographer, architectural photographer, and then develop what you're doing to where you can get to the point where you're able to work with higher end design clients that are paying for the people who have that artistic vision that they want to pay for, that they want to represent their work. If I had to do it all over, I'd still go to architecture school because it gave me the background and the understanding to interact with the clients and subject matter that I would be shooting. Photography, as far as the technical side of it goes, you can learn all of that from online tutorials, from reading books, you can learn all of the technical stuff, uh, but the aesthetic and composition, lighting, uh, 
your choice of lighting, you're finding the beauty in it and replicating that and showing the architecture within that, that is the X factor that people are going to pay for and that's very much informed by your training in architecture, understanding of composition. The biggest hurdle, honestly, is the apprehension of leaving all of your, everything that you worked for over your education, leaving that behind, and the difficult financial transition because you're not gonna make money right away. Um, you're not opening a business that's just kind of a, open up shop and people start giving you money. It's, it's definitely a, um, you're working as an artist and you have to develop a reputation and there's a lot of things you'll have to do to, to grow that. And we can talk about that in another video. So ask more questions. Thanks.